Something I've mentioned a few times in passing is that I grew up in the San Francisco Bay Area, more precisely, the South Bay Area, the San Jose, Mountain View, that area. And that my dad has worked in tech for basically as long as I've been alive. Um, that means that with that much time in the industry, he's worked at companies of basically every size. Um, he's worked at giant companies and also startups. Startups are, for those who aren't really aware of business culture, um, basically companies that start in a um, garage or basement or whatever, well, not really anymore, but they follow the same model that, like, historically the big companies have starting very small two three people then recruiting once they have a real product going um, getting investments uh, they start working on things before they have the money basically um, and there have been some extremely successful startup companies um, uber was a startup I believe um, as well as its competitors um, and the, the TV show Silicon Valley is shockingly accurate to all the stuff going on in startup companies. The stress, the very eccentric characters that you meet, um, and the genuine passion for the product by most of the original team, at least. Going Under is a roguelike that makes fun of startups. Welcome to the beautiful city of Neo Cascadia. Did you have a nice monorail ride? We at Cubicle would like to congratulate you on joining the ranks of over 100,000 employees hired through the Impoverished Intern Initiative. As the largest e-commerce corporation in the nation state, we're proud to support the next generation of innovators. It might be hard to believe, but Cubicle started out as nothing more than a great idea from someone just like you. Like so many Neo-Cascadian success stories, Cubicle began as a startup, just a couple guys in a garage with nothing but a dream and a modest cash injection. That's why we're paying it forward. Since the inception of our company we've acquired countless startups and provided them with funding and hard workers to help accelerate their success. Our friendly integrated AI has assigned you as a marketing assistant at our latest member of the family, Fizzle Beverages. By inventing a sparkling water that's also a meal replacement, Fizzle cleverly disrupted two industries at once. There's no better place for an intern to grow than somewhere like Fizzle, where you'll never be the smartest person in the room. When you're not hard at work with Fizzle, you'll have plenty of time to experience some of the rich Pacific Northwestern culture our great city has to offer. Now, let's go over some ground rules for your internship. First of all, never, under any circumstances, explore beneath the- Hey, uh, not to be rude, but I already know all this stuff. I had to watch this same video when I applied online. Oh, is that so? Let's skip the formalities and get right to the fun part. I bet you're excited to meet your new co-workers, Jacqueline. Yeah, I can't wait. In that case, let's get this icebreaker underway. Just follow me over to the... Oh, not again. What was that? <sighs> Looks like the monsters have started escaping from the basement again. I really hate to do this to you on your first day, Jack. You do what to me? Well, we can't go having a meeting with the at thing running around the office. So I just need you to do me a small little favor and go kill that monster for me. What? Like, kill? Kill? Like, right now? Never killed a person before. We still won't have. You're probably not used to the city life just yet, but here in Neo Cascadia, everyone kills their first monster sooner or later. If it makes it easier, just pretend you're in a video game and picture its hit points slowly decreasing every time you land up low. Consider your first task as Fizzle Beverage's newest intern. Make us proud. Alright. Time to go kill a monster, I guess. Use the right stick to move the camera. 
so the art style is really cool but also might be a little confusing this is just like very the corporate animations like that are very commonplace so yeah 3d environments very interesting look also slightly disturbing that they had Jacqueline as the example already in a lot of those images whatever pick up items and attack the big gimmick of this game you can just pick stuff up and use it as weapons like in a beat-em-up game and that's kind of how you're expected to deal with it there you go. That wasn't so hard, was it? I feel sick. We got some crates of antacid flavor fizzle in the back. You did a great job, Jackie. Thanks. Now there's just one tiny little extra step we've got to take care of. And that's going to the dungeon and kill the rest of them. Wait. What, what, what? No way, dude. You need, like, an exterminator or something. Won't be hard, I promise. Took out that one so easily. There's probably only three or four more lurking down in that slide. I said no, man. Find someone else. I'm not going down there. Huh. So be it then. I had really high hopes for you, Jackie. I reviewed your resume personally. But if you haven't got the motivation to work at Fizzle, maybe I should ask Avi to reconsider your position here. Wait. Yes? I'll do it. I'll go down there and take a look. Oh, excellent. I knew I saw the spark in you, Jackie. Come back and see me as soon as you've as soon as you've cleared out all those monsters. Oh, and don't take too long down there. Stand up is in 15 minutes. Let's go ahead and pick up that club. We can switch between three weapons as of right now. All with the varying stats. Uh, mentors and skills are for later. Business cards. Oh, character profiles. Rolodex. It's who you know. Jackie Fiasco, marketing intern at Fizzle Beverages. A fresh-faced college graduate excited about her first step into the world of corporate advertising. Marv, project manager at Fizzle Beverages. Your friendly neighborhood project manager. He's willing to do whatever it takes for the sake of the team. Or to delegate. Yeah, we don't have... Uh, mentors or skills or anything. Uh, skills are basically like items in like Isaac or Undermine. Let's see, I don't think there are any more weapons around. Oh, we can grab a keyboard too. Joblin. Joblin LLC, floor basement one. Oh, wait. I didn't actually realize we couldn't bring stuff with us. Let's go ahead and... Oh, that's a heavy. Yeah, heavies you can't actually keep with you. Left trigger to focus on enemies. Jabo Sword. You'll notice that weapons do have limited durability. And also... Yeah. Um, I guess I'm not getting up there. Yeah, we're gonna be destroying environments a lot in this game. A to dodge roll through danger. skill, I think. Yes. Use skills to increase your power. Press Y to learn a skill. Good under pressure, increase, improved crit chance at low health. Pugilist, punch above your weight. Let's go for Pugilist. More damage when you don't have a weapon. I don't know a ton about this game. I just can intuit things. Huh? 
But yeah, we do two damage on unarmed attacks, which is actually pretty not bad. So we've got a ma. Yeah, let's just move forward. Throw junk from a safe distance with the right trigger. but still, jerk. Also notice that picking up that meat on the bone, um, we heal by eating it and then you are using the bone as a weapon. It's very good. We do have a charge attack, which I didn't actually remember. Uh, this was one of those games that I saw the demo of pre-release and had to play. <laughs> Regarding the unacceptably long bathroom breaks taken by contractors, from now on, all toilet seats will be angled at 45 degrees to encourage... I smell something. I smell... A productivity blocker. Uh, hey, are you the boss around here? I, uh, got sent down here to let you know that uh, you guys aren't really supposed to be. We have no time for holdups. Not at this stage of the job. Eliminate this block of contractors and then we will resume our daily sync up. Do not try to sneak away to the bathroom after the battle or I will die. Yeah. Suspiciously like the Osu logo. Thank you everyone for joining me for our daily stand-up. Told us it was mandatory. Thank you, Swamp. First things first, I'd like to introduce you all to our new intern. Everyone put your hands together for Jacqueline Fiasco. I'm here! I'm here. Am I late? A new hire? Jeez, the budget's tight enough as it is. I do believe Miss Fiasco is unpaid, Tappy. Oh, thank God. Jacqueline, why don't you break the ice by telling us a bit about yourself? Start with your name, your favorite flavor of fizzle, and your deepest, most passionate life stream. You just told us her name. Be cool, Kara. Um, my favorite fizzle flavor is, I guess, Szechuan apricot. I dream of one day having health insurance. <laughs> oh, a bold choice of flavor. I like her already. Jackie is here for, uh, what was the ad for again? Marketing. A marketing internship. Is she interning for then? I thought Amy took care of all our marketing. Try to be more open minded, Kara. Obstinance equals obsolescence. Just because of all our advertising and PR is handled by a cutting edge neural network doesn't mean there isn't room for a human touch here and there. Well said, sir. What's obstinance? As for specific duties, I'm sure Amy can come up with something. Until then, think of Jackie at like our own little office assistant. If you need a helping hand with anything, don't be afraid to ask her. I must admit, it would be splendid to have someone to test my newest flavors out on. I could always use a second here, pair of eyes on the company finances. Yeah, whatever. I guess I'm on board. The less we have to rely on machines around here, the better. <laughs> Amy and Eve and I get to tell her what to do. Score! Nice to meet you, everyone. That's a welcoming team I know and love. Speaking of which, how are we... How about we close out this stand-up with our company chant? Fantastic idea, sir. I think I remember it. Ahem. What do we make? Fizzle. What can we do? Place breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Why do we make it? <laughs> Red receipt. <laughs> Come on, guys. You know this one. <laughs> to 
make the it's to make the world a better place. Oh ho, indeed. How could I forget? They usually get it right. It's a Monday. You understand. I like a family around here. We'll see soon enough, Jackie. I can't wait. Well, that concludes our daily stand-up. Have a great work day, everyone. Jackie, stay after the meeting. We need to discuss our little goblin problem. So, did you make it? Make it where? To the bottom. The bottom of the dungeon, where the boss hangs out. Does it look like I made it? I totally got my butt kicked, man. I'll be real with you. I don't think it's even possible to make it that far. That's no good, Jackie. You need to start thinking more positively if you want to make any more progress. I don't think someone else might be better suited for this job. The ad said this was a marketing internship. I'm not cut out for fighting monsters. I don't like the situation any more than you do, Jackie. But with those with goblins constantly crawling up from underground and sealing our office supplies, we're never going to be able to meet our milestones. You know, with our little monster issue, and I promise you'll have... We'll have you writing social media posts faster than you can hit the dabs, or whatever kids your age do. So, I guess you want me to try again. You guessed right. Hang in there, Jackie. We'll be done with this task before you know it. So, if we look at our skills... Um... Is Pugilist not in... Oh, it is. Uh, the more you use it, the closer you will get to being able to start a dungeon with it, I believe. like being an accountant for Fizzle. Oh, you know, it's here and there. I run the numbers, I tell Marvel over budget, Marv tells Ray, Ray ignores it, rinse and repeat. The system hasn't failed us so far. Arf. You're the programmer here. The lead engineer. You're the computers, then. I told you that. I'll kick their ass. <laughs> Fair. That's true. Few people hate computers more than engineers. Big boss. That's a lot of delivery drones. If you couldn't tell, this is supposed to be basically Seattle. your dreams fizzle. Employee Kia. Oh, this is just where you do this, naturally. Alright. So I, I think that's a scripted loss, but I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, because now you can see there are four floors to the Joblin Dungeon. already. What do we got? Unapproachable. Best defense against unwanted conversation. Exit strategist. Exiting a crawl explodes whatever you were under. Sink. Unapproachable. Get an orbital. There's a shop. Let's hold off on the shop. Witch, which is a healing item. Also, it's wrapped up more like a burrito. Good job available, except. Oh, it's arena. Right. Also, sometimes you'll just fight a car. I didn't want to move into the next room already. in the environment also damages them. Um, 
that's not the sandwich. This is. Oh, it's a stale sandwich now. Dang. Buying anything? Loitering isn't permitted here. Are you gonna attack me or something? How would I do that? Seems pretty bad for business. Let's see. We have Fizzle Classic. Tastes better in a bottle. Gain one max HP. Avocado Toast. A delicious alternative to home ownership. And Joblin Spice Latte. Entry level caffeination. Fail for you. Come back from defeat stronger than before. Cubits. Gain ten cubits. Go for that. Yeah, this game might make fun of stupid publications as well. Attack faster, clap back after taking damage, dock down nearby enemies. Move and attack faster, please. Bad condition. 
Room for growth. Gain an empty heart. Contractors who don't even know the name of the company these days. Well, I do not work here, okay? For one, I'm not a goblin. Yeah, right. What else would you be, a human? Have an espresso, kid. Maybe that'll set your mind straight. Your first crit against an enemy will earn you a buck or two. Crit chance up 10%. Skelecaster, a weapon. Uh, let's get that crit chance up. And we can come. Wait. Entrepreneur. Well, well, I see it good to my humble garage. No offense, man, but I think everyone's kind of over the whole enigmatic shopkeeper thing. Just show me what you're selling so I can get out of here. <laughs> ah, restless one you are. Spending your cash is all well and good, but you know what's better than items? Knowledge. In fact, I'm far more proud of my vast collection of literature than I could ever be of my wares. Or my sweet car. But you do, like, sell stuff here, right? In a sense. But the price may be harsher than currency. Curse of busy work. When you start your next combat, you'll start your next combat, you'll start your next com Okay. Intimidating. Chance to knock down enemies upon entering a room. Briefcase. 20 attack! Not bad. Ah. New job available, except yes. Enemies play for it. Oh, I see. One hit. Failed to meet expectations. Eight cubits. Intern Jack was defeated by a job lifter on or B2. Skill progress. Unapproachable is not very good. At least not unless you can also start with Pugilist. What does a gal gotta do to get a decent cup of coffee around here? Oh, we've got his coffee flavor to fizzle. Just half a can of that stuff makes me feel bloated. I know you're new here, but I don't suppose you could pick up an espresso machine from my desk. That sounds doable. They seem to drink a lot of coffee down in the dungeon. Dungeon? Yeah, the dungeon beneath the office. I'll never understand your generation's crazy lingo. Come back with that espresso machine before I pass out, okay? Buy an espresso machine from the Joblin Cafe. What's with the sour face, young lady? It's just, all I've been doing since I got here is killing goblins. I hope my marketing internship would involve a little more marketing. And a little bit less murder. Well, that's just the beauty of internships. You'll never know just what you'll be getting into each day. Or what weapons you'll be wielding. Or what monsters I'll be fighting. Exactly! See, all you need is a change in attitude. You're fern, right? Indeed, I'm the lead flavorist here. Oh, cool. So you invented fizzle flavors. That sounds like fun. It's more stressful than you can possibly imagine, Jacqueline. But I do it for the art. Of flavor. Oh. Hi, my name's Jackie. Hey, man. Name's Swamp. Don't wear it out. Swamp? Like a marsh? Well, bad, but marsh contains no wooded plants by definition, whereas a swamp can support many varieties of tree, but yeah, pretty much only it's spelled with a no. Nice to meet you, Jackie. We should hang out. 
Yeah, sure thing. You ever tried? You ever just tried lighting a bunch of stuff on fire out of boredom? No. It's pretty fun, TBH. What a great way to release some pent up anger. Not that I have any of that. I don't know, man. Sounds pretty dangerous. Good thing, but it's not so scary when you know the secret trick. The secret trick is to stand away from the fire. Damn, why didn't I think of that? Next time you're in the dungeon, you ought to try picking up one of those big torches and just go into town. You won't regret it, I promise. Light a bunch of stuff on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's do one more run. <laughs> Alright, now we know not to pick up unapproachable. Unless it's like specifically part of... Oh, that's a big cactus. I want the small ones. I guess I'll bring a monitor into the first room, though. Okay, so not guaranteed a... Eater. Eating foods increases your strength for a bit. I'm really curious if fail forward is a buff on damage or an extra life. <laughs> your back. Joblin? I keep telling you, I'm not a goblin. Well, first of all, neither are we, all right? We're joblins, with a J. Second of all, no humans made it this far into the office in nearly a decade, and I don't see why now should be any different. Third of all, you'd better not be a human, or I'd be con contractually obligated to kill and eat you. Oh wow, would you look at that? I'm a joblin after all. No humans here. I sure hope so. Eating humans sucks. It's a waste of time. I don't even get to bill for it. So it's 60 bucks for the espresso machine. for the HP up. So are they stealing the fizzle as well? Alright. Ooh, Jabo Mace. Coffee. Let's get for slide access. Immediately throw that. Oh, you're buffing them. Have a great day. Better cube. Disruptive. Your critical hits electrocute enemies. Cool. Sword. 
Um, yeah, I should take it because I get the good points from it. second attack. I need to learn the difference here and how things work. So it's just one extra life, but you keep the skill for the sake of pinning, I guess. Um, uh, got more dialogue already, okay. Hmm. Seem disappointed in something. Well, the ad didn't really say anything about working for Cubicle. And just what's wrong with Cubicle, young lady? I feel like I read something online about labor violations, or maybe it was human rights violations. They violated something, I'm sure of it. Don't tell me you believe everything you read online. I thought you were smarter than that, Jackie. We owe Cubicle an awful lot around here. If more for their generosity, Fizzle might have gone under a long time ago. Besides, you're not really working for Cubicle. You're working for the one and only Fizzle Beverages. Now a subsidiary of Cubicle. Try to think of it that way. Who's a good girl? Girl? Boy? Doesn't matter. She's a dog. She's a she, though. Who's a good girl? Claire is just a good dog name. Hey, intern. Over here. What's up? Where'd you come from, huh? Did Avi hire you? I don't think so. I just answered an ad online for a marketing internship. Good luck with that. Unless you want to clean Navy's speakers, there's probably not much work for you in that department. Hi, Fern. Jacqueline, just the intern I wanted to see. You were looking for me? Indeed I was. Oh, I've got this new Cajun avocado flavor I've been working on, but no one in the office will even touch it. I'm all pass. I'm more of a teriyaki durian kind of guy. Oh, God. Hey, Jackie. Hey, Taffy. There goes the numbers and stuff. Hey, she okay, Jay? You look straight up zombified. Yeah, I keep bashing my head against this dungeon, but nothing seems to work. As hard as I try, I always get my ass kicked before I reach the bottom. Are these, like, metaphors, or...? <laughs> it's over here. Cubicle staff only, I guess. Like, direct cubicle staff. No one's up here. How are we? Um, yeah, let's go one more run. <laughs> Wee. That is cool, it's a, it acts like a spiritual weapon. Oh, I really like that. Let's go. Lost health by quickly defeating the last monster that hurt you. Resourceful cubicle boxes contain an extra. Oh, uh, let's take Vindictive for sure. And get that torch. Because I can light stuff on fire. 
fire by running into it, apparently. Which, like, I might as well. In fact, let's go to an earlier room. And this feels extraordinarily dangerous here. It was extraordinarily dangerous. I guess I just didn't notice the torches in this room. Which is probably for the best. Because I would have acted very dumbly in future rooms. Alright. Goblin of the month. Work down to the bone. You should know, joblins are paid based on jobs completed, not work not hours worked. So it makes a lot more sense to cut quarters rather than spend a lot of time doing something perfectly. So that's why all the drivers are speeding out of control here. You got it. They can't be too reckless or someone will report you and you'll get fired. Or you might just crash the car. Being a good contractor is all about writing that line between profitability and painful death. <sighs> I, I knew this was pretty real, but a little too real at points already. Oh, that's gonna exp oh, that's not a thrown one. That's a draw. Oh no, it is going to explode eventually. Alright, get ourselves a... Thank you for your business. Bougie cube. <laughs> get a Skellicaster. Um, Alright, nothing in here. Good a weapon, holy crap. I should have bought the espresso machine. Under tipping, sharing rides. Overhealing grants armor, stress eater, um, both based on healing. We're gonna go for defensive. Uh, swap out that broken weapon. been delivered. Bunch of cubits. Why was that sandwich trying to escape? I mean, obviously.
Cruise of Brain Freeze. Next week, combat's focusing on... I'm not even using focus, so sure. Okay, so I get the basic idea. I take a curse and give me some items in exchange, yeah? Correct a wound, Ovis. What I don't get is what's in it for you. What do you get at... out of cursing me? You see my bookshelves to the side? Every book in these bookshelves contains a curse. In fact, I recently installed ten new bookshelves to hold over two thousand new curses I bought. I acquire these curses faster than I can cast them. Cast a curse a day is my philosophy of late. So you're just trying to get rid of them. It's also quite entertaining to watch you fight while cursed. Understandable. Oh, I get slowed for a bit when I focus. Good to know. Cubicle rewards member. Yeah, opening crates earns extra cash. Okay. Um, I swap out the spear for a briefcase. Because these things are friggin' strong, man. actually had money, too. I did light a bunch of stuff on fire, though. <laughs> Thanks for taking this meeting, everyone. <coughs> Mandatory. <coughs> During today's stand-up, we have the rare pleasure of being founded by the founder of Fizzle himself. The founder. Give it up for Raymond. Wow, what's jamming, rock stars? Hey, hey, that's a good vibe I'm talking about. Rich is raised fine, though. Remember, we're all buddies here, as you all know. Fizzle Cubicles was recently acquired by Cub. Fizzle Beverages was recently acquired by Cubicle, the world leader in machine learning and drone shipping operations. And now we have more money than we could possibly spend. This is the end game every entrepreneur dreams of. Shabam! But it'd be a mega waste if we slept on Cubicle's super rad tech and didn't integrate it into some even super radder projects of our own, right? Then in mind, I'll pass the mic to our very own smart office, A.V. <clears throat> Yo, A.V., please tell us about the new product. Hello, friends. Isn't the weather decent today? After testing it over, 10 billion... After testing over 10 trillion, 200 billion scenarios in my official cubicle model of the universe, I have determined the most effective business decision for Fizzle, with a shrewdness index of over 5.03. Raymond, drum roll, please. <laughs> Announcing FizzGo, the Fizzle companion app. By making use of cubicles bleeding edge, user forward data cloud. What? That doesn't mean anything. Customers will be able to track their fizzle consumption, have new flavors recommended to them, and share their fizzle experiences to our new built-in social network. Wow, sounds like everything I hate. No, Amy, please tell me I've got nothing to do with this project. Barb, who's this negative Natalie in the back? That's your lead software engineer, sir. Well, I've got good news for you. I'm officially pivoting the entire fizzle development team to work on FizzGo starting today. That's good news, right? What were you upset about again? Are you kidding me? The whole team! It's completely nuts. Who's going to maintain the website? Our internal tools? Not time for squirrels, baby. I'm sure the programmers will figure it out. With all the hella dope 10xers on this team, I'm 200% sure you can crush this without breaking a sweat. Alrighty, anyone have any questions? Preferably ones that aren't total bummers. Um, will this affect the flavors? Of course not, Fern. I know the flavors are your babies, bro. I could never rob you of control over what you're passionate about. Sounds like that's all smooth sailing, then. Ba-boom! I'll distribute some company phones right away so everyone can help beta test the app. It'll be just like a fun group project. You're all a team. Isn't everything like a group project? That's the spirit, Jackie. Everyone will have a part to play in Visco's development, from the engineers who make... It to everyone else who gives unsolicited feedback every couple hours of the day. Heck yeah, brother! I knew I picked the right project manager. I'd high five all of you, but I totally tweaked my wrist playing e tennis. We'll just have to imagine it. That concludes every today's stand up, everyone. Don't forget to check the employee kiosks for your new tasks. Don't forget to check your butt for my foot, Marv. Hey, Ben. It's pretty fun down in the dungeons, huh? I don't know if that's the way I would describe it. You're just approaching it wrong. I've been taking the free items from the cafes. Free? Everything in those cafes top costs money. <laughs> what? Don't tell me you've actually been buying that stuff like a schmuck. There's a special technique to get free stuff all the time. They call it swamp lifting. So, theft. You are describing theft. It's a lot more nuanced than that, man. I mean, that next time you're in the dungeon, the swamp store will show you how it's done. <laughs> 
Oh, we have the Cupid Store. Apps unlocked. Find them throughout the dungeon. When you... Mentor leveled up. When you equip Swamp, he will shoplift a random item from the cafe for you. Ooh! So we've got... Aggressive. Break hits deal more damage. Heavy hitter. Deal more damage with heavy items. So... You saw it actually in the intro cutscene, but that expression on a crab is the logo for uh, Agro Crab, the developers of this game. We're working on a new game now, too. So this is a smart office everyone's talking about. You know what? Don't look so smart to me. What's 63 to the power of 429? What's the capital of Neo Cascadia? Hello? Is this thing even on? lucky as heck, you know that? I only wish I'd been able to get start getting experience at such a young age. Maybe I wouldn't have had to go bankrupt three times before finally finding success. Sounds rough. You bet it was, but the startup game is all about perseverance. Lesson number one, kid. Never be afraid to take out loans for your Oh my... <laughs> I hate that so much. I'll keep that in mind. Bam! Is there any free entrepreneurship advice straight from your favorite CEO? I show up see you, kiddo. I guess I might mind learning a bit more about how to run the, about how to run the company. Alright, lesson number one. When you're given a job to do, do it perfectly. And you do that, you simply don't make any mistakes. Show me what you got, kid. Sure thing. What do you want me to do again? Complete a job with five stars. Everybody's looking so worn out, Chachi. No, nope, Marv isn't working too hard. To be honest, I could really use a breather. Is there a drinking fountain around here or something? Nope, I've got plenty of fizzle, though. Great. Awesome. Cool. Honestly, it seems to be pretty different each time I go in. True, but curated randomness can only take you so far, man. Once you've seen enough con possibilities, even technically different circumstances can become same and dull. You fought one room full of spear guys, you fought them all. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I got a cool idea for something fun you can try down there. Give it a shot, man. Run over a car with your car. <laughs> They're making fun of roguelikes like this in their. Uh, this game is good. Alright, next time on Let's Play Going Under, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get, uh, Swamp as our mentor, which I'm sure can only go well, and, yeah, next time, I guess we're gonna keep working on trying to clear Joblin. See you guys then.